Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Tucker and Crowley Report, part of News Now and the Belmont Journal. And Franklin Tucker is with us again, of course, today, and I'm Mike Crowley. It's midsummer, and we've got some news to cover. First up, Franklin, Concord Avenue, more changes? Well, we have uh, some specific uh, changes uh, along Concord Avenue, and but uh, the first one, the first major uh, street change that we had that the uh, that the select board approved was re the reversal of Underwood uh, Street. Uh, instead of going from Concord Avenue down to the school, it will now be changed from going uh, basically north to south. So it would exit to Concord Avenue. That that was done speci specifically because um, of the new what, what they're calling the driveway to the new school. Okay. And uh, that will that that driveway is basically at the corner of um, 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 Hittinger and uh, uh, um, Throwbridge. Uh, so, um, so when 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 the police and when and when the town started looking at how traffic is going to be uh, going down those streets, especially in the morning and in the afternoon when school gets in and out, and it's, and also this is also a timing with um, with. Uh, rush hour in the mornings, it just seemed um, impossible to have that same um, uh, configuration, simply because you're, you would have three streets that are going right into that driveway, and you'd have to have uh, cars basically coming against traffic. They needed a, so, they needed a funnel, basically, so, to so get Franklin, to Concord Avenue. I, I want to ask you, is this routing traffic onto to Brighton, then? Um, not really. It's a, it's basically a way of, of allowing people who are leaving the school uh, through the driveway to have a direct path to Concord Avenue instead of going to Brighton. Yeah. You know, oh, I see. I yeah. see. Yeah, it's up to Brighton. Uh, it will uh, it will also uh, it won't really affect uh, people going to uh, Bright Road. You know, uh, but um, uh, so it was a it was a configuration that just needed to be changed. Okay. All right, and so um, when does this go into effect? Uh, it goes into effect, uh, I believe they said the last week in August, uh, the, the, the last week in July, first week in September. They're so right, be be right before school starts. That's right, about a month before school, so everybody can get used to it. The second the second big thing is that uh, there was a compromise for uh, putting veterans, uh, handicap parking for for uh, people at the Veterans Memorial. Okay, you know, so that is at Underwood and, yeah. and, and uh, Concord. Right, so... so so changing the way the, that con that uh, Underwood uh, flows, basically north to south, that allows uh, a little. That allows to uh, that allows the town to basically build two parking spaces into into the uh, into the uh, air, uh, into the side. So you will have part a handicap at least one handicap parking space and another parking space that will help uh, veterans who want to see uh, uh, disabled veterans. And who want they'll to see be located them. on Underwood. So That's right. so. No, no changes required to the bike lane on Concord at that point. That's right. Okay. I think I think there are people who were saying that um, you know it's just too much of a, a of a of a safety concern when you have to move people in and out at a major corner, and they didn't want to do that. All right. Now the third uh, step, the third um, uh, change uh, which is occurring is at Concord uh, just before the uh, underpass, and that's at the post office. Now uh, because of just uh, a myriad of um, of uh, complaints by um, uh, residents, uh, especially older residents who sit, who who are based, who have a uh, unsteady feeling when they move when they uh, uh, you know exit their car because it's not on the curb. Well, the the, the town has decided to just move that portion, um, you know, about uh, ten space, you know, ten. Um, ten inches? Uh, no, ten, not ten inches. Move the parking to the curb. Okay. And uh, and then what happens to the bike lane? Bike lane now goes back to where the bike lane used to be, and that is against traffic. Right. Uh, that will be adjacent to traffic. Okay, so watch out, bicyclists. That's right. There are there are a number of bicyclists who um, are uh, concerned about that. Uh, the select board said that they're going to try to limit the speed limit at that point from to, to uh, less than twenty five miles an hour. To about, they would like to see ten miles an hour. Just like it is in just like it is in Belmont Center when we have the uh, um, uh, the restaurant uh, seating during the summer, they want to have basically the same thing there. It would it would it would help um, uh, nervous bikers who have to you know move into traffic and then take that corner into Belmont Center under, under, at the underpass because cars are moving at, at, usually at a quick speed at that point. All right. Well, we'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
All right, so um, uh, there is a special town meeting that's planned for November. What can you tell us about that? Well, it's a, it's a, usually you know, special town meetings. Uh, they're in you know November. They're they're before Thanksgiving. Just a little bit of a you know things that have to be done at the at the last. You know, just you know, uh, special things are usually. It's not usually a, a, a great importance. You know, that's usually uh, for the annual town meeting. This town meeting, uh, special town meeting, could be uh, both long, lengthy, and impactful. And con controversial? Uh, maybe. Uh, let, let's see what's happening. Uh, uh, already, there are uh, need. There is a need to um, uh, for. Uh, uh, well, there isn't a need. Uh, just that uh, these are some of the things that they would want to do. Uh, one is the removal of civil service. Uh, for the for the fire department and and uh, police department, that's happened. That's so, that's so been we, attempted one time before. We, we saw that pitched at town meeting once before, and it it, it fell flat on its face. The select board mm -hmm. ultimately, rather than accept a defeat, withdrew the proposal. What's different this time? I think there's more education, and they're going to also uh, promote it a, um, a lot uh, more vigorously. I mean, uh, the last time they tried to do the civil service, it wasn't really. Uh, it just came up before the. Uh, members and there was a lot of people who just you know just just were opposed to it for not really knowing what it was going to and how it was going to impact Belmont. I think you're okay. going to see now more uh, you see more uh, a bigger effort and a more impactful effort to, uh, to have that change. There's also uh, an attempt to have uh, the assessors made from an elected to an appointed. Uh, um, that's uh, interesting. That's that's been decided. That hasn't been decided by, by the select board uh, yeah, as a proposal right. to put on the table. That's right. It okay. is. Um, then there are um, uh, a myriad of um, uh, zoning uh, changes that they would like to see. Now, zoning, uh, there's going to be a, a more um, uh, universal zoning ch um, um, review, basically, to see if there's a need to have to just go through the whole zoning uh, uh, bylaws. And, and that's going to take upwards to uh, another year and a half to do, you know, mm -hmm. because it's going to be very, it's, it's, that's very, um, you know, you have to be very careful when you do it. You have to see how that, 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 that ends up. But uh, there are some things that are called low-hanging fruit that, uh, that people would like to see come immediately. Some of those would make uh, hotels permissible uh, in, in town as a right. Um, you would have restaurants, you know, uh, it's for everything from their signage to their grease traps, you know, change those to make it easier for restaurants to come into town. Okay. Um, and it's, it, it's right now it's, it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, you know, this, they, they're thinking like this could take three to four nights. So there is an attempt by both, um, the town moderator, um, and, uh, uh the psych board to really, uh, pare these down. So we don't have everything come at once and for a special town meeting. Um, I, I, I do want to ask you, Franklin. Yeah. So um, at the annual town meeting, there there had been a proposal, and I believe an energy committee proposal that that Roger Rubel, um, I believe, with withdrew, um, and it, that was supposed to be coming back in in the fall town meeting. That's uh, one of the that's one of the several ones that okay. you know, that, that would be coming back. Um, uh, because the, the select board promised it. Okay. They, they, and and this and, and that wasn't as controversial once we once they talked about it and how that was going to change. You know, like building codes in the in the town. Um, I think there's also uh, a number of people who would want that flushed out even more. Okay. Um, but I think what you're seeing is um, an attempt, basically, by the town to um, and and by by the town moderator to, uh, uh, you know, just just limit the amount because there's, it's just too much and it's going to be before thanksgiving you know people are already starting to think of holidays rather than town meeting so you don't want them uh, to be burdened by you know you know four or five nights of um, of, of contentious debate <laughs> who needs that well sometimes it happens mm -hmm. all right so last story franklin well ellie shea our our, uh, our uh, outstanding uh, prominent runner um, she's actually won two national titles this last weekend, and it, it had to do with her running in the uh, U-20, or under 20-year-old, uh -huh. uh, national championships, and she, was, uh, and she did an extraordinary thing. She uh, won the 1,500 meters, which is a sprint, basically, nowadays. 
days, <laughs> not when I was running, uh, but that was, uh, she, she ran it uh, uh, alone and just, you know, and just went and, and won the race. And then an hour later, she came back to the track and ran the 3,000 meters, and she won that too. So she's a double national champion. Oh, my God. So congratulations, Ellie Shea. That's right. All right. Okay, well, thank you, Franklin. That's all for this week. And you can see more of Franklin's reporting at Belmontonian.com. Be sure to watch us next time, and we'll see you then.